Healthy Hearing Loss. My name is Dee Dee. Today we are going to watch a video that was given to me by Think Heek Oil. I really made it. It's me, you know, same person. We're just going to keep it creative. She presented the video to me and we're going to watch it today together. She is going to demonstrate using her Think Lab Digital One stethoscope in the clinic. She didn't have a live person, so she's going to demonstrate on a mannequin. And before we do that, I want to share that I'm going to be creating, or Healthy Hearing Loss is going to be creating videos that talks about things to consider before you buy a stethoscope, which is super important. And this is going to be for healthcare professionals and students and even anybody that's interested. Some of the topics that I will be presenting or Healthy Hearing Loss will be presenting is degree of hearing loss, whether you have mild to moderate to profound hearing aids, type of hearing aids, you know there's a list of them, invisible, completely in the canal, in the canal, in the ear, receiver in the canal, behind the ear, lots to cover. And whether you have a T-coil or Bluetooth in your hearing aid, we'll cover environment. Where do you work? In the clinic, hospital setting, maybe you do some home visits, maybe you work outside, or you're doing it for education purposes. We'll talk about budget. How much money do you have in the bank? And how much does all this equipment cost? And can you afford it? What can you eliminate, add, so that it can fit in your budget? And then we'll talk about research. You need to research a lot of stuff. We'll be talking mainly about the comparison chart that I found on a link. I'll show that during the video. And if you're interested in those type of topics, then you might want to go ahead and hit that bell notification, which means you have to subscribe first. Okay, so let's hop on to the video and watch what Think Tequil shows us and how she's demonstrating on a mannequin. Hey, welcome to my clinic. I'm Think Tequil. This is Mr. Joe. I want to first mention before I demonstrate how to use the Think Labs One Digital Stethoscope. Wicked important to recognize that this setup is unique to me. You'll need to develop a custom setup for yourself depending on your hearing loss and what type of hearing aid you use. It can be complicating to develop this setup, a little bit of patience and research, and you'll find the right one for you. I'm going to be honest with you, I did not go through my audiologist for this particular setup. I learned about this stethoscope, the Things Lab One stethoscope on my own. And I did some research on how I can use it for my hearing loss through my hearing aids. As a matter of fact, I did introduce this stethoscope to my audiologist and she is recommending it to other medical providers and to see if they would benefit from it. Now I acquired sensual neural hearing loss at the age of two. And what does that mean? I was born with hearing at around age of two, I became hard of hearing and needed to wear hearing aids. At the time of my hearing loss, I was diagnosed with the unknown ideology. And then later on in life, I was told that I had enlarged vestibular aqueduct, EVA. I have severe profound hearing loss, so I need a pretty strong stethoscope, and this stethoscope has been working for me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and demonstrate my Think One digital stethoscope. I have it right here. I'm connecting it to a 3.5 millimeter cord. It's a pretty long cord, about three feet long, and it's connected right to my Barnack Compilot 2 right here. And then this cord goes around my neck, creating a electromagnetic field connected into the T-coil in my hearing aid. My hearing aids are phonic cross two. Hearing aid on one ear, receiver on the other side. And this is a direct audio right to the stethoscope. So there is no delay in this. Mr. Joe, we're going to be talking about your lungs. We want to talk a little bit about your asthma and make sure that you're on the right medication so that you don't keep having asthma attacks. All right, I want to listen to your lungs. Okay, so we're going to first go ahead and turn on the streamer. And you'll see I have a button on the side and the light turns on. It says to me, Palm Pilot is on. It's green, meaning that it's through an audio source. If it was blue, it would be a Bluetooth, but it's a direct audio. So I turn on my streamer and then I go ahead and turn on my stethoscope. And I hit these two buttons to turn it on and you'll see the light turn on right there. I always like to tap my stethoscope to make sure I can hear it. And I'll go ahead and place it right onto his chest and ask him to take a deep breath. Of course, this is a mannequin, so I'm not hearing any breathing. And then I can say, go back to your normal breathing. I want to listen to your heart. And there you have it. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it off by holding these two buttons and it will just turn right off. Then I'll turn off my streamer like so. 
one of the benefits of using this, even though I have the stethoscope connected to my streamer, I'm still able to use the microphone on the Bonic Compilot 2. So I can still hear the patient, hello, hello. If he starts to talk to me for whatever reason that may be, then I can talk to him while I'm using the stethoscope. Now we're in a controlled setting, meaning this is a clinic area. It's Everything's in place, set to go, relatively quiet. If I were to go into to an uncontrolled setting, which would be either someplace that's outside the clinic. It does not mean that less care is given. You don't have everything available to you like you would in a clinic. So if I were to go to a home visit or go to the street under the bridge, go in the wood, I've used the stethoscope out there. I do have a harder time hearing outside with this. Even though I can press on the skin and it will occlude it a little bit, it doesn't diminish the background noise. I'm still hearing it through my streamer and I am also hearing it through the stethoscope. So that's why I have a difficult time outside with this. Even though I have a volume that goes all the way up to 10, it doesn't mean that I it gets rid of background noise. It just makes this louder. So that's a disadvantage of the stethoscope. I use it anyway outside, but for the most part, I usually like to use it in the clinic. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that this isn't a tubing. It's just a wire that goes around my neck. It does make me look a little techy and I tend to wear a cloth around the tubing itself to kind of hide it not to hide it from other people but to make it a little bit more friendly my my fabric is blue it's friendly for kids it's friendly for other people it's pleasing to the eye I don't want you to think that people think you're weird if you wear it like this because people are getting used to technology they're not going to look at you and think that you're all teched out it doesn't matter you need to hear what you need to hear to take the best care for your patient. So whatever setup you have that works for you, no matter how it looks, that is the one you really should use. I use this and I don't care what other people think how I look. Yes, it's nice to have the tubing around you and have a regular stethoscope because historically it has made professionals look more like a medical professional when they have a stethoscope around their neck. But I don't care. I want to take the best care of my patient. I don't always wear this around my neck. I'll take it out and put it in my pocket. I just need to wrap up the cord and put it in my pocket. And all you see is my streamer. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope that was helpful. I thought it was pretty neat. And the reason why these guys, these medical professionals, are sharing these type of videos is because they want you to know about their setup. Maybe one of those setups will help you. But it really depends on what type of hearing aid you have or what hearing loss you have, your budget and all that stuff. But we'll cover that in those future videos. But just know that there are many options out there. If you have a setup that is really unique to you, share it anyway. Somebody might benefit from it. Okay, that's it. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell button if you want. Take care. Bye.